Libra. Welcome back to Angels Light Tarot. Thank you, thank you, thank you for stopping by for your monthly love message for March 2020. Okay, Libra, let's get right into your love message for March 2020. Positive energy, angels. We are looking for positive energy, please. Positive love energy for Libra. What is going on for Libra the month of March in the love, love sector, angels? Positive energy, please. Positive energy for beautiful, beautiful Libra. Yes, yes, yes for Libra. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Libra, Libra, Libra. What is going on? Positive energy in the love department. Oh, there we go, there we go, there we go. For Libra. Bum, 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 bum. You know what? You know what? What is going on? Positive energy. Positive energy for Libra for the month, for the month of March. Thank you. What? Let's keep on shuffling. Positive energy. Looking for some positive energy for Libra. What is going on for Libra the month of March 2020? Thank you, thank you, thank you, angels. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful angels. What is going on, angels, for Libra, for the month of, for the month of, love deck, <laughs> love deck for the month of March 2020, which is, yeah, right around the corner. Angels and guys, positive energy, please. Positive energy for Libra. Positive energy for Libra. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Yes, yes, yes. Positive energy for Libra. Libra, Libra, Libra. Dun, 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 dun. What is going on? Positive energy. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And there we go. All right. Are we ready, Libra? Main theme for your love life for March is... Interesting enough, trapped in fear with the ace of diamonds and the eight of hearts with the angel of happiness and the angel and, the, and like the intimacy. There's a lot going on here. So I feel like in this relationship, there is a bit of, of, of um, I feel like for some reason you're bound to this relationship. You're not so sure that this is the relationship that you want to be in. With the Ace of Diamonds, it may have something to do with setting new boundaries within the relationship and being very powerful in emotionally in those boundaries. And I feel like once that is set, yeah, once that is set, there's the angel of happiness and intimacy. How beautiful is that Libra? Now, when we look in the... Um, recent past. We have the triumph and success with Libra and the queen of clubs with the five of diamonds, the angel of virtue, and the dating. So in the recent past, I definitely feel like there was some, some, um, something to be, something that to be, um, it was like, you overcame something as a couple. You definitely overcame something with the Queen of Clubs. I feel like there was an issue, and not an issue, but kind of like, okay, we're gonna do this, 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 and this, almost like you handle this, I handle that, blah, 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 and then changes from that, changes, changes. Um, it's like, you know, sometimes you're in a relationship and, and you know, you're good at one thing and the other person is good at something else, right? Maybe one person is good at the kids and the other person is good at, you know, uh, paying the bills. Like, you do that, I do this, and now everything is working, and with the angel of virtue, I feel like it was an element of, yeah, you know what? This is working. This is the right thing to do. And the angel of dating, I feel like it's a matter of in the recent past, you guys um, felt like you were dating, right? Or maybe you went out on a lot of dates. Okay. Now when, even if you're married, you can still date. Okay. All right. Now in the middle of the month, in the middle of the month, you have fulfillment of wishes. You have the seven of diamonds, the five of clubs, the angel of mother love, and the commitment. So I definitely feel in the middle of the month, things are looking, yeah, you're you're getting fulfilled. I feel like everything is going your way. You're not attached to, um, I feel like I feel like you're like footloose and fa fancy free in your relationship. You're going with the flow. Yes, yes, yes. The angel of motherly love, mother, mother love. I feel like you're nurturing your relationship and you're committed to that. Now, now, that's awesome. Now, when we look at the end of the month, we have moving on, we have the queen of hearts and the three of hearts 
angel of serenity and the silver water fall so definitely i'm feeling like there is an element in your relationship where you're moving away from like everything seems so great and then at the end of the month it's like you know there's something that you're moving towards, right? I feel like you're moving towards, you're moving away from the queen of hearts. You're moving away from the intimacy I want to see because I, I feel because there is some uncertainties going on here and the angel of serenity, you're like, I need some peace. I definitely need some peace. And the silver waterfall, I feel like you're definitely looking for, you know, and what is that song? Somewhere over the rainbow. You're looking for that, right? You're definitely looking for that. And I feel like you're going in that direction, right? Now, now when we um, look at your bonus, when we look at your bonus, Libra, you have movements and choices. It feels like the, the relationship started, um, Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Um, movement choices. There are movement and choices that need to be made because things have been, I feel like, stagnant for a little bit. With the jack jack of clubs, you're feeling like um, you either, I feel like, I feel like um, there's either someone that you don't necessarily trust. Maybe, maybe someone is not necessarily telling you the truth. Um, all of the truth, maybe some of the truth, mixing the not truth within it. And I feel like the jack of, of spades is like you're really looking at this this person like, mm, I'm not so sure. Yeah, I'm not so sure if they're telling the truth. And I see with the angel of guidance, I feel like you're going outside of the relationship to find out is this the truth? Is this the truth? And the 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 main the last card is the life purpose. Finding the truth, I feel like, is your life's purpose. Now, it all seems like you, everything in the beginning of the month, yeah, you're in a relationship. You're not so sure why, but you know, things are working out. So, you know, I'm, I'm not necessarily... I, I'm not. I'm not sure why I'm here, but at the same time, it's okay. It's okay. It's no reason for me to jump out of the ship, if you will, right? And I feel like you know things are. As long as I, I feel like I feel like as long as you, you aren't attached to certain things. As long as you go with the flow, everything is going to be great. But then I feel like by the end of the month, there's an element of uh, maybe that trapped in fear kind of. Uh, it, it's like it. it it comes up again. I feel like it comes up again because whenever you're in something and you're just kind of settling, I feel like you're settling. Um, I feel like the least little thing that comes up because you're settling, it kind of makes you feel like, you know, maybe not so much. Maybe that's why I'm so hot and cold in this situation. And I feel like it's a matter of, I need to make a choice if I want to keep going down this road again. And, and I, I feel like you're going to seek guidance outside of the relationship and find out what is the truth. And it's not necessarily the truth. I feel like, you know, it's not necessarily the truth of the other person. It's your inner truth. It's your, um, I definitely, why you feel like this, like you're, you're confined here. Why the least little thing? Like, what is the truth? Why am I feeling restricted here? Why am I feeling like I have to stay here? Because, because truth be told, no one is a tree and you know, our roots are not planted in the ground. We may leave anytime we want, but the truth is your life purpose is to find out why, why you feel this way, okay? So, I send you joy, namaste, and much, much love sent.